Hey everybody, back for another video. Today we're going to talk about breaker panels and how they're wired up. Uh, Sanchez HVAC has asked, how is 240 volt wired at the breaker panel? So let's get into it and I'll show you. Alright, right here we have a picture of a breaker panel and I am going to show this in orange not that orange is the the right color but just so that you can see it uh, on here and there is some contrast all right so here you have L1 here you have L2 and they both go to the lugs which go through the main breaker right there this might be 150 amp it might be 200 amp uh, just depending on whatever your your panel is okay and now the other thing is that you have a neutral wire coming in okay comes down here <coughs> connects to the neutral bus bar here and then see it's here and it connects along the back so that both sides are connected all right and the other thing that you have in here is a uh, ground wire, okay? The ground wire also comes in and is also connected to this as well. Okay, so now let's get rid of all this. Now, I like this particular picture. I know it's a little blurry, but what I like about this picture is it allows us to look at... What I like about this picture is that it allows us to look at the bus bars and how they alternate. So you've got L1 and L1, see, connects here and here and here, okay? L2 comes down and connects here and here and here. See how they alternate back and forth? All right, so now let's get rid of that. All right, so here's a 220 breaker right here, okay? So when the 220 breaker is connected, you have a red wire, okay, which is connected to, say, L2. Then you got a black wire, okay, and that, because they alternate, that is connected right to L1. So L1 and L2 together make 220. And then you notice here that you have the neutral wire, that is connected right to the neutral terminal strip. And uh, what you also are going to have in here is a ground that's also going to connect to the neutral strip. Okay. Now, <clears throat> this bus and this bus, again, L1, L2, both make 220. That's how 220 breakers wired up. And... A 120 breaker is wired up similar. However, this is a, two, a 240 volt um, breaker, is a two pole breaker, and a 110 volt, uh, say a 15 or a 20 amp breaker, is a single pole. So a single pole is going to connect to just one side. It might be L1 or it might be L2, just depending on the location of that breaker. Hopefully, that helps. If you want a more uh, descriptive uh, video produced let me know and we'll get into it a little deeper uh, but I think that pretty much covers the basics of that and, and you know every little uh, panel every service panel here is going to look a little bit different you might have um, you might have the the main on the bottom might be on the top just depending on what brand um, this looks like a cutler hammer breaker but hard to say it's a little blurry um, all right, well, anyway, uh, if you haven't already, uh, click subscribe below, and don't forget to click the little bell to get notifications on new videos, and we'll see you on the next one. Thanks a lot, and have a great day.